What is going on guys? Welcome back to another how-to tutorial where today I'm going to be showing you how to build this awesome looking basketball court that you can use for your houses, your mansions, anything you want. It just looks awesome whatever you put it in guys. So guys stay tuned and I'm going to show you how to build it. Right guys to build this awesome basketball court you're going to need quite a lot of blocks so i would suggest to roughly get a good amount of each one maybe half a stack of each one or a stack of as many as you can get um so you don't underdo it when you're building it but the blocks you're going to need are oak planks or you could use birch planks as well they still look nice uh wool or you could use any kind of white block it doesn't really matter it could be quartz iron it's up to you uh red stained clay and orange stained clay again that can be any red or orange block it could be wool blocks if it's easier to get uh cobblestone walls signs cobwebs you only need two cobwebs so you don't need to go over the top with them red stained glass pane and a white stained glass pane and that is all you need to build this awesome basketball court so guys the first thing we're going to need to do is build the actual size of the court you know like the framing of it um so what we're going to need to do here is build a rectangle that is 25 by 41 and this side here the the width of it is 25 so i'll show you this right now so that's one two three four five six seven eight nine ten one two three four five six seven eight nine ten so that's 20 one two three four five so there we go there is our width right there guys that is 25 and now we need to go this way 41 blocks and that includes this one block here so that is number one and then then two three four five six seven eight nine ten and go all the way to 41 i'm probably going to speed this up right guys there we have a 25 by 41 and now what you need to do is the easy part is just join up the corners so build down here and then build up to there and you'll join it up nice and easy so i'm going to do that now so there we go we have our main shape for our basketball court which is pretty awesome so now what we need to do to make life easier for ourselves is find the center point of all of this now i worked it out to be 21 blocks so if we go from this corner right here and count 21 that is going to be our center point so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 19 20 21 so this block right here is going to be our center point so what you need to do now is just build a line all the way across and that is going to be our half halfway court point yep that looks about right to me that looks like it's separated into two sections you know half court right there so what we're going to need to do now is do the white markings on the court that is the most important part because without that it's not really going to look like a basketball court is it most people get these markings wrong now these are the right markings that you're going to need so what the first thing we're going to need to do is go to any corner of the basketball court i'm going right here and we're going to need to count across four blocks so one two three four and then what we're going to do is place our first block here and we're going to go up eight blocks so it includes that one so that's one two three four five six seven eight and we can go and do this again on the other side so it's one two three four place that and then go up eight including that one so that's one two three four five six seven eight and this is going to be our markings of like our area where we shoot and stuff like that so from this corner point or you can start from that one it's totally up to you but from where this block ends right here we're going to go diagonal one block then we're going to go diagonal another block and then we're going to go diagonal two blocks like that so diagonal diagonal and then two like that and then we're going to go diagonal once more and we're going to build across five blocks that's one two two three four five now if we do this same pattern again this pattern here if we do this same pattern again here these blocks should connect up so we do one two like that and then a diagonal and then a diagonal and then we get our kind of court area shape like this so that is that part done guys so what we need to do now is get our red clay now this is going to be like the inner markings of this area right here and we need to go across three so we'll go one two three and then we need to place our red clay so we've got a three gap right there and what we need to do is pretty much just build this up to the point where we stopped on the last one so it's parallel with this straight line right here and we're going to do this the same on this side so we're going to be <clears throat> 
one two three go across like this and build up till we get to the same point and then just stop right there now this is the easy part we're just going to fill this middle part up like this with orange stained clay or whatever orange block that you're gonna use so nice and easy you don't really need to remember any numbers here just fill this up and these are our kind of markings for like the free throw area right there so now what we're going to want to do is do a few extra markings in the in the inside here and we're going to want to go up three blocks like this and just do three a uh, three white line just like that and then we're going to want to go up to this point here and do kind of like a semi-circle so starting from there we want to put one there go across three like that and do one like that and then we're going to miss a block put one there put one there and put one there now these are all our markings for like the free throw area the penalty area all around the this point here and that is pretty much all the markings that you need guys so the next step for us is to fill all these gaps up with uh oak planks so i'm going to speed this up so once you've filled it all up guys you're going to get something that looks like this now that is looking pretty good to me and we've got kind of like the penalty area right there and the free throw area right there so now what we need to do is kind of do like the center circle right here so what we need to do is we need to count in from the, the corner here where it meets like this um oak plank right here and we need to count in seven so one two three four five six seven and then we need to build like the center circle so we need to go we need to go two blocks either side like this and we need to go, go diagonal and then diagonal and then we need to do the same on the other side so we need to go one two three four five six seven and then we need to do two blocks either side just like this go diagonal go diagonal and then we need to join these up just like that and we get our center area right here what you can do and what i like to do is kind of just knock this bit out here and fill it up with the orange stained clay because with a lot of nba courts you get their logo in the middle and i think when you put the stained clay there it kind of looks pretty good so that's kind of what i want to do here so we do that and we have our center circle as you notice guys i'm only doing half court because if you do half the court you just copy it on this side and it's done it, like it's exactly the same both sides so now we have pretty much all the markings done of the half court we're gonna do the very nice in my opinion the best basketball kind of hoop that i've seen so what we're going to need for this is we're going to need to find the center point which is like right here we're going to need to place down a cobblestone wall and we're going to need to go up eight blocks so that's one two three four five six seven eight and then we're going to need to come out one block right there and then we're going to get our red stained glass and put it on top of that cobblestone uh, wall right there and then we're going to place our white stained glass either side and we're going to come out i think it's two is it two yeah we're going to come out two either side of that uh red stained glass right there and we're going to go up three so we're going to go up two more from this so we've already got that one that's the first one so that's one and we're going to just fill in the rest of this these are quite difficult to play so you have to click quite precisely so just place right in there and that is going to be our backboard for our hoop so now what we're going to do is get our our cobweb and this is going to be our net and we're going to get our signs and this is going to be our rim and we're going to place it all the way around our cobweb like this and we're going to go back a little bit too and place it on the cobblestone wall just so it looks like it's got some sort of support and something like that and we're going to go like that and there we go guys we have our hoop so if you want to you can get a half slab right there put it on top just to add a little bit bit more detail but there we go guys we have our half court right there so all you need to do now is copy all these markings and do it on the other side right here and you have a full basketball court so that is what i'm going to do right now guys and there we go guys once you've copied it over to the other side exactly the same you're going to get an awesome looking basketball court like this now the reason i decided to do this guys because i find a lot of basketball courts don't have the correct markings and the kind of hoops look a bit funny but i think these are one of the best hoops that i've seen 
marking and uh yeah the markings are exactly how they're meant to be to a point because it is minecraft we can't get the fine lines but yeah i think it looks pretty good guys hopefully this was useful for you guys and you can go and use it in your house you can use some of my other tutorials and make a huge mansion and do like a tennis court do a basketball court and all these kind of cool things in your house as well but guys thank you so much for watching i really hope you enjoyed it and i'll see you again in another tutorial so we need to leave this bit empty because this is where we're going to go and get our beds and then we're going to place our beds in there like that but that still looks a little bit strange if you ask me don't you think it still looks a little bit weird because you've got a hole in your bed now this is where the carpet comes